All right, continuing on with the bevy of folks at Chili Fest. Look at this guy and his freaking hat. It is none other than the bees, Ryan Beaver. Man, how was it playing the first Chili Fest? First Chili Fest was great. Um, good crowd. Really good crowd. Everybody was singing along. Had a blast. Now, I got to ask you. Your buddy Kyle Park played last year. Did you ask Kyle for any advice on, on what you should do or, or anything you shouldn't do? No, I didn't ask him any advice this year. Maybe I should, but... Uh, he told you to wear the hat, though, right? He's, he's, you know what? This hat makes me look taller. I'm going to give advice to Kyle so he, he can wear this hat. Make him a little taller. Well, the guys over at Drew Cabellina Hatters out of Brian, they were like, hey, wear this hat. I said, sure, I'd love to. That's fun hat and chili fest. Oh, I, I, I gotta ask you because I heard the song. I didn't really hear the reaction from the crowd. Right. When you did Streets of Austin, this close to College Station. I know. Did you get anybody pissed off and no, screaming at you? Like, yeah. Screw you! I mean, Austin sucks. We got this. We got yeah. this. But I mean, other than that, I think they know the song's really a love song. It takes place in Austin. I'll have to write a love song. It takes place here. You got to, man. And then we'll all be good again. Now, uh, you got anything new you're working on? Uh, I mean, you're under the yeah. video. It's been out for a little it's while. It's been out. Um, we are going to hit it in May. Try to do a whole new record, all new songs, and hopefully people buy it. Anybody you've been riding with? Because I've heard of, I've heard so many people say that. God, that Ryan Beaver kid, he's, he's really got it. I, 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 and I'm not BS with either. I mean, a lot of people said Ryan is just got it, and he is a fantastic songwriter. Anybody got a special line up? Um, yeah, you know, I got to, uh, I've been writing with a lot of Texas guys. Kyle Park, uh, obviously a good friend of mine. And uh, I ride with Wade Bowen a little bit. Um, Wade Bowen. You never heard of him? Anybody heard of Wade uh, Bowen before? He's a guy. He, he'll make it one of these days. One of these days. He'll and uh, uh, I've been riding with Brian King, who's a singer-songwriter. And, and lately he's been playing some keys for Randy, you know, for Randy oh, Rose. So, great, excellent songwriter. Uh, we've got a song that I'm going to record, and, you know, I try to write, still keep it, you know, writing personally, writing by myself, I try to do that, so, I've been doing that, um, I got the chance to write with a guy named Jay Knowles, who, who was in on writing She'll Leave You With A Smile, and guys. so I've been able to, some doors have opened, I've been able to write with some really good writers, and, uh, it's been really good. Now, now before we wrap this up, I, I have to say, I, I first met Ryan a couple of years ago now, a year and a half ago, maybe. Yeah, it's probably been that. And, and I felt really bad because when I brought him on stage, uh, the thing I said wasn't like the greatest thing ever. I said, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, Ryan. Don't call him Harry Beaver. And I felt really bad because afterwards I listened to him, and he was really, really good. If you've not heard this guy, you need to listen to him. He is an amazing singer, amazing songwriter, and, uh, and Ryan, I have to again apologize for calling no, Harry Beaver. No, not at all. I've, I've heard some Beaver jokes as, uh, as I've grown up. It's all part of it, and... Dude, you've been in my corner. I thank you for it. I, I still say he needs the Gat Beaver shirt. I just throw it out there. The fans are all about it. If you want a Gat Beaver shirt, like Email. right down here, the little, the little place where you can leave a message, say Gat Beaver. And we'll put it for I know. Hey, my thanks.